Cool. So coming at you guys with another guitar review today, we have the Kramer Beretta Special in purple. So I've wanted this guitar for a little while. I had sold an amp recently and, you know, I had a little bit of money and these are not super expensive guitars. It's about 300 bucks Canadian with taxes. So I paid $259 Canadian for this guitar. After taxes, 289 something like that. It was on sale. Usually they retail for 289 If you're American, the USD is ridiculous. I think these guitars retail for like 199 or something crazy like that. 179 So I want to go over with you guys what I like about this guitar, why I got it, and um, what I don't like about the guitar. Because there definitely are things I don't like about the guitar. Um, so... The first reason, basically I bought this guitar because I wanted a really cool 80 shred guitar. I knew right out the gate after looking at these, there's a pink one, there's a purple one, and there's a white one. And I was like, I want the purple one. I have a lot of guitars. This guitar was gonna be my 80s kind of shred Van Halen guitar. Yeah, so I ordered it and when it came in, I had done a fair bit of research on the guitar. I had done, um, quite a bit of reading about it and a lot of reviews on YouTube. So I knew that there was some stuff I was gonna do to the guitar right out the gate. So that's kind of what I wanna preface with. When you buy this guitar, it's not awesome right out the, right out of the box. It's, even though it, it, it's, it's priced as a beginner guitar, in my personal opinion, it's not an amazing beginner guitar. So I'm gonna tell you why that is. So when I got the guitar, so first off, it has nines when it comes, to, which I'm going to keep the nines on. Um, you know, I'm not playing crazy riffs on this thing. It's a shredder guitar. Um, when it came, anytime you even touched the bar, the thing went wildly out of tune. Now, quite a lot better. So Steve from Boston has a really good video on how to modify these so that they're usable. So first thing that you want to do is in the back, there's three springs. Take out the middle spring, okay? And then deck the bridge so that it's flat. You don't want it to be floating. You just want to be able to push down like Eddie Van Halen did. Um, then you also want to lubricate the nut and the bridge. Um, lower the pickup a little bit. And then the final thing is this volume knob and the inside of it, it has this stupid capacitor. So basically before you, I took it out, which is a very easy thing to do, by the way, like I'm not super crazy guitar tacky guy and I was able to do all this in a night myself. Um, basically they had this thing on there where if your guitar was on 1.5, from 1.5 to 10, there was no difference. It was either on or off. Now it functions as a normal volume knob. I'm not saying it's the best volume knob in the world, but if you heard it before, there was no dynamic change whatsoever when you moved it. Um, so there's a couple of things to consider with this guitar. Okay, so things I like about this guitar. The stock pickup is ridiculous. It sounds really, really good. Like, this is through a Boss Katana. Boss Katana with uh, Zach Wilde overdrive and a Bad Monkey overdrive. Um... So it sounds amazing, you know? After those modifications, this is a really great guitar. The neck is insane. The neck is super flat. It feels really good to play. All the notes are perfect. The action was great when it came. I love how it looks. The biggest drawback of this guitar, bar none, these guitar tuning, tuning machine heads are garbage. Like, I'm immediately getting rid of them. They're bad really 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 bad if i put this guitar in drop d 
this skips so bad that you can barely get it in drop D. When you, when you tune them, it's like you tighten it a little bit and then it almost skips for a second. Easily the worst machine heads I've ever played on any guitar in my life. Now, replace the machine heads, there's not really much issues with this guitar. So you're looking at it, for me, under 300 bucks, I put 100 bucks of machine heads into it, I have an amazing shred guitar. But that kind of takes me to my next point, versatility. This is not a super versatile guitar. It's built for 80s metal. It's not built for chugging, it's not built for gents, it's not built for jazz. You want to play Van Halen and Ozzy on this, this guitar sounds like the real deal. So I'm just going to play some riffs and, you know, uh, you guys can hear for yourself. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. <laughs> butchering the whammy i'm just getting over covid anyways if you guys have any questions let me know this is a killer guitar it's budget but you will love it